Hello, this is Wendy Lightheart, and this is an intro to unit analysis. Unit analysis is a particular method or process used to convert units or to solve many application problems that involve measurements. To understand how this method works, we need to recall a few facts. First, recall that any amount multiplied by 1 equals the same amount. Secondly, remember that an amount divided by the same amount is equal to 1. And lastly, when multiplying fractions or ratios, common factors will cross cancel. Now let's define an important term which I will be using frequently as we learn the process of unit analysis. A unit ratio is a ratio of measurements that is equal to 1. Here are some examples of ratios of measurements. Which of these are unit ratios? It may help to review the facts and the definition above. Feel free to pause the video to give yourself time to think. Only four of these five ratios are actually unit ratios and they are shown in red. Notice that for each one the top measurement is the same amount as the bottom measurement. It's simply given in different units. For example, 12 inches is the same amount of length as one foot. The ratio still in black is not a unit ratio because the top measurement of one inch is obviously not equal to the bottom measurement of 12 feet. Let's look at some examples of how to use unit analysis to convert units. In our first example, we want to convert 2.5 miles into feet. The idea of unit analysis is that we are going to be multiplying what we want to convert by one or more unit ratios. And because unit ratios are equal to one, the result of this multiplication will be the same amount as we started with. We always start by writing what we want to convert in ratio form, which most of the time means writing what we are converting over one. Next, we're going to multiply this ratio by unit ratio. Since we're starting with miles and we want to end with feet, we can use the fact that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. The key is, th is that we need the miles to eventually cross cancel. So we want to multiply by a ratio that has one mile on the bottom and 5,280 feet on the top. Now the miles will cross cancel. And notice that we have feet as our leftover units. Since feet are the units we wanted to convert to, we only need to multiply by this one ratio. To finish the problem, we multiply what's left on top together, including the units, and multiply what's left on the bottom together. Our last step is to simplify this ratio to get our answer. Thus, we get 13,200 feet as our answer. So 2.5 miles is equal to 13,200 feet. Let's look at another one. This next example will illustrate how to use unit analysis when a single fact is not enough. And thus we will need to multiply by more than one unit ratio. We want to convert 22 kilometers into feet. However, when I look at my fact sheet, I don't see any facts relating kilometers and feet directly. What I can use are the facts that one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers and one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. The first fact can take me from kilometers to miles and the second fact can take me from miles to feet. We begin the same way, that is, by writing 22 kilometers in ratio form. Knowing that we need the kilometers to cross cancel, whatever unit ratio we use next must have kilometers on the bottom. 
So we can use the first fact, putting one mile on top and 1.609 kilometers on the bottom. Be very careful that you place the numbers in the correct positions so that your, your ratio actually is equal to a unit ratio. So now the kilometers will cross cancel and we end up with miles. Next we need to multiply by a unit ratio that has miles on the bottom so the miles will cross cancel. Thus we put one mile on the bottom and 5,280 feet on the top. This is using the second fact above. Notice that after we cross cancel the miles we're left with feet on top which is what we wanted. Now we're ready to multiply simplify and divide to get our answer which is 72,194 feet. Therefore 22 kilometers is equal to 72,194 feet. This last example will help illustrate how to use unit analysis to convert rates. We want to convert 25 miles per hour into feet per second. We start out by writing 25 miles per hour into a ratio. And since this is a rate, this means we put 25 miles on top and one hour on the bottom. For this problem, we need to end with feet per second. So we're going to need to convert the miles into feet and the feet or the hours into seconds. It doesn't really matter which of those conversions we start with. The important part is that we set it up so that the appropriate units will cross cancel. Here are the three facts we will use to write the unit ratios we will need. Let's start by converting the miles into feet. Thus we know that the next ratio will need to have miles on the bottom. This means we need to put the one mile on the bottom and the 5,280 feet on the top. The miles will now cross cancel. Now we need to convert the hours into seconds, which will take two unit ratios using the other two facts above. Notice that the hours that we need to cancel start out on the bottom. Thus the next unit ratio we must have hours on top to cross cancel. Therefore we put one hour on the top and the 60 minutes on the bottom. Now the hours will cross cancel because we have one on the bottom and one on the top. Lastly, we need, the, uh, we need to cancel the minutes that are on the bottom, so we need to use a unit ratio that has minutes on the top. So we need to put one minute on the top and 60 seconds on the bottom. We cross cancel the minutes and notice that the only units that are left are feet on top and seconds on the bottom. That translates into feet per second, which is what we wanted. So we are finished using unit ratios and we're ready to multiply and simplify and divide to get our final answer of about 36.7 feet per second. Thus 25 miles per hour is approximately equal to 36.7 feet per second. Well, that's it for this intro lesson. We will continue this topic in class as we go through several more examples. See you then.